Hello engineers, in this tutorial I will demonstrate the procedure of pushing multiple container images on an Azure container registry using loops on Azure DevOps. I have already documented this article on my blog and you can find it in this URL according with the code that is the YAML pipeline. So you can locate the YAML pipeline on GitHub and you can read the whole procedure on this article. I will demonstrate now the same procedure on the Azure DevOps. So in order to start pushing container images using loops, you will have to use expressions on Azure DevOps. So I will add in the description of this video the expressions link for Azure DevOps on which you can find end functions, if functions, and loop functions for various cases on Azure DevOps. So it's a very important link that you will find useful when you will have to deal with complex scenarios. So you can find some expressions like greater than, greater or equal, join, and other keywords that are very important. So in order to getting started, you will first need to create a service connection. So in my case, the service connection would be an Azure container registry, which you can connect in your Azure DevOps using a service connection. In order to do that, you should have to go in the project settings, as you can see here, test project settings, and on service connection tab, you will have to go on Docker registry and there you can connect Docker registries. In my case, I added an Azure container registry and if you have already connected your subscription, this will be populated and you can add your container registry. So I will skip this step for now and we will go through the actual code. So the code for the pipeline is listed here. So I am providing a parameters list, as you can see is core image one, image two, image three, and image four. And I will use this parameter list in order to push those images recursively through my self-hosted agent where those images have been created. So, and I will push them through a loop on Azure Container Registry. So in order to do that, I should have first those images created on a self-hosted agent on which this pipeline will run. So these images should exist on the agent will, which will push the images on the container registry. The second important step that you have to notice is that in order to push the images correctly without having errors, you should have a naming procedure for the container registry push. For example, if my container registry is named geralexgiazo.azurecr.io, then you, you will have to name your images like geralexgiazo.azurecr.io slash image one and the same for other images. So for example, for the second image, I should have to have, I should have this, 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 the, the name that you can see here, because if you don't have the naming procedure as it is needed for the container registry, then you will notice errors on the push commands. So I will remove those things right now. And we will see that the pool on which this pipeline will run is named, for example, demo app. And I have included a stage, which stage include the job for the push containers. So this particular job will go and run a loop. This loop will run for the size of container list. Container list is my parameter list. So this loop will run one, two, three, four times, and in, it will go and try to push the particular container 
for example, this one in the container registry that I have included in this service connection. This, the container registry keyword specifies the service connection. So if you press settings here, you will see that this is the service connection and the repository is the name of the container. So as we explained earlier, it will push the image if the, the correct naming is specified in the container. If this is wrong, then you will notice some error in the pushing procedure. So for my case, I'm using the push command, but you can also try to build, login, log out, or stop, stop some containers. The last thing that I use in this particular example is the tags keyword. This keyword will go and append a tag on the image that you want to push on your container registry. For example, in my case, I added a push ID, which I specify through a parameter. So when I run this pipeline, the parameter docker push ID will be requested. So I can, I can, for example, put a version here, so or a tag latest, and those will be passed on the current slash version. So I could name this, for example, version docker push ID and also include this in my tag push. So you can also leave the tags as it is and it will push the, the tags that it will find on the container registry. So you could push, for example, multiple tags, or you could push here the latest version of your container. If you don't specify a tag for your image, then the latest tag will be pushed. But if you don't have a latest tag, then you maybe notice an error. I haven't tried this procedure, but you may notice an error there. So make sure you add also the tag which you push on your container registry. And when you run this pipeline, you will see that under your job, you will notice steps, additional steps. For example, in my example, I had four steps as I have a loop with four particular images. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please press the like button and do a subscribe on my channel.